All right, camera on. Can you see me? Yeah, focus, it's okay. <laughs> All right, give me a thumbs up if everything is good. All right, perfect, good, 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 good. Nah, I can't really see you guys, I'm just kidding. That would be kind of creepy. But you can see me and that is all that matters. Welcome to Salty Mechanics, the channel where you get to see what it's like to live, breed and work here on the docks in Norway as a boat mechanic. Now, in this episode, I think maybe we should talk a little bit about why on earth we put boats on land. And, of course, since we're on the subject, maybe we should meet the truck guys. <laughs> Like Sondre is sitting up there in his truck, you know, driving, and then Paul he's down there running around on the ground trying to make sure that Sondre doesn't hit anything and talk to each other, you know, through this really awesome cool device. And they are so synchronized and they talk and they, you know, do hand gestures and whatever. It just looks like, you know, a lot of fun. They're a great team and uh, I wish I was a part of it, but uh, I'm not. So, you know, maybe that's why I like to come in here from time to time and just, you know, lift things myself. I can do that now, if you want to see. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I feel better already. All right, you want to meet the truck guys? Let's do it. I, I, I forgot, I'm going to have to work a little bit as well. If you're interested, I'm going to do something mechanical. I have to pay the bills. So let's just roll the intro and get on with the episode before I bore you to death. I'm gonna continue this just for a little bit more. It's just so much fun. And then you can watch the intro. Let's go. This is one of the truck guys. <laughs> Say your day. name. I'm Paul. And that's Sandre. <laughs> I'm just saying hello to the truck guys! Hello! And you are uh, the main chief! Yeah, yeah, of course! Yes, of course! Me running this place! Yes, you are! <laughs> Alright, man, let's see your work!
your setup? Hmm? Are you happy? Yeah. It looks very clean. Yeah, yeah, it is. Just because it is clean. Wow. Yeah. So is that a clean desk policy or just like no work policy? It's I haven't started work, working. Okay, so I yeah. Started working, yeah. So we'll see how it's gonna look in a while. Yeah, yeah. This is something. Yeah, this is this is a man who actually works. And over here, that's me. I work too. You see, yeah. I got papers here. Yeah. Stuff laying around. What do you use this for? <laughs> and this. Uh, I'm just. Are you, is this <laughs> is this parking fine? Yes. Is something you're working on? <laughs> this water is doing. This, this is great I'm work. Working, I'm working. Yeah. On, I'm actually drinking it. Yeah, right you now. are. No, I'm not. Out of a uh, old coffee mug. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> what does this mean? Nine eighteen. I don't know actually. No, no. All right, uh, you proved your point. <laughs> this it's all just a mess. <laughs> yeah. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you are watching this vlog from, let's say, Miami, I envy you a lot because you have like an all year around boating season. Here in Norway, it's different. We have four seasons and only one boating season, and that's summer. And it's not very long. <laughs> but during the winter time, a lot of boat owners they keep their boats on land, and they do this because they want to protect their boats from rough seas and all of that. And of course, you don't want to be boating when it's like freezing 20 minus outside. That's just crazy. If you're a fisherman, you probably do, but you know, normal people, no. You can, of course, have your boat in water during the winter, but then you have to be in like a safe harbor where you have pumping systems and all of that to keep the water moving. Here in this marina, we don't have to because we got so many ships and all of that moving the water all year around. So that's no problem here, but nevertheless, a lot of boat owners, they lift the boats up on land and they keep them there for months. And the good thing about that is that you can do so many things on the boat in a safe place, no stress, and you don't have to worry, you don't have to go and check on your boat all the time. It is good to see that, you know, there's uh, a little bit of life here in the marina right now. A lot of people are using boats and, you know, the season is absolutely here. But it's raining and the weather is not great. Alright, so I'm in this old boat with this old engine. I was here yesterday trying to figure out what was wrong and didn't bring my camera. I just totally forgot it was so stressful customer said that the engine didn't start and normally it does quite easily she uh, could only hear this weird sound so I tried the same I realized the starter was most likely the cause of the problem so I tested it I got a new starter and I'm here now to mount it uh, on the engine. The boat is going out on the ocean tomorrow so the customer is stressed and we have so much to do so she's been waiting in agony for us to do this so yeah let's see. So this is the new starter. There's a lot of different wires that goes into the starter and I'm pretty sure this is the one that kickstarts the whole thing. And then the starter connects with this wheel right here. So this one pushes out like that. And it all begins right here. I see that the connection here is not the same as it is on the new one, of course. So that's why I brought this stuff. Not often do we have this much space when doing a job like, like this. All right, let's get to it. Alright, 
the battery on my camera just died so I'm using my phone I'm just about to start up the engine and I'm gonna cross my fingers because if it doesn't start now then we have other problems as well and I don't really have time for that so let's try all right so here we go turn the key around Got your board. So what do you say? Thank you so much. <laughs> no, the other thing. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Yes. Yeah. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, everybody. You know this episode is coming to an end. I wanted to say a big thank you to the track guys, Paul and Sondre, for being a part of this, and I wanted to say a big thank you to you guys who's watching for just, you know, subscribing and commenting and just being a part of this little universe that we have down here at the docks. So, until next time, bye. Yeah, and uh, remember to, to hit that like button, subscribe, <laughs> and hit the notification bell. No problem. I think that's the only thing you can say, actually. <laughs> All right. <laughs>